Oh, hello. Back again for another video about one of these licensed games that I cannot let go. In this case, it's the King of the Hill PC game. Uh, for anyone not familiar with that game, it's, uh, it's a PC game from 2000. And um, it contains, it's one disc, one CD. And on this CD are actually two games. One is called Texas Hunting, which is like a Texas hunting simulator with Hank Hill and the gang. The other one is called Hootenanny, or AKA Block Party. And that's the game I'm looking at here. More specifically, um, that Hootenanny game consists of really uh, a collection of mini games and conversations with uh, the neighbors in Arlen. Because your objective is you're a new neighbor, you're trying to be friends with everyone, and you're trying to, uh, you know, get through the playthrough and get a good ending by the end. And by talking to people and winning mini games, you collect what they call neighborliness quotient points or NQ points. And basically, you, the, the higher your score, the higher your, you know, score with these points the better your e the ending is. And, and actually that's hidden. You don't get to see your score. It's just a hidden number that, you know, you, so you basically have to play through kind of blindly and hope that you do well to get these good endings. Um, or else you just end up getting stuck with the bad, en bad endings over and over. Anyway, so what's bugged me is that one of the mini games that you have to play every time is this paintball mini game in Dale Gribble's backyard. And the problem is it's, I mean, you, you've probably been reading it here. It basically, there's a timer there of like 5.6 seconds, which is not enough time to do anything. So you have no time to play it properly, no time to shoot anyone, because the idea is these guys are popping up and you have to shoot them with paintballs, but there's just no time to do it and to play it. And you basically, you always fail this game. And I always felt like that, you know, is going to prohibit the player from getting a good ending. So once I realized that the game scripts are contained with the game files and you can edit them if, you, if you're all set up for it, I'll, I'll link below to the video I made where I talk about how to get set up. I won't do that here. But basically, if you're set up for it and you edit the game files, it's possible to fix this bug with the game that's shipped this way uh, and actually play this mini game uh, properly. So let's go through that. So yeah, again, I'm, I've already been set up to edit the game files. I have Macromedia Director open on the side here. Then step two, we're going to open this BP main DCR file. So I've... So it's not immediately visible uh, when you unpack the game files. You're not going to find this one particular file because you have to extract it from the game exe. Uh, and there's uh, and again that other video details how to actually do that. But I've already done it. Uh, you can see here I've been making a, a lot of different modifications here. But we're going to open the unedited BP main file. So yeah, it's going to go through all this stuff. We're going to get rid of this property inspector on the right side. This stage window here, that's the main kind of game window. We'll get to that in a minute. All right, so yeah, the next step is to navigate to this BP lib tab as part of the cast window. And I'm also going to enable cast view style. Just, And I'm going to click on this name uh, button just to sort by name. Now I'm going to scroll down to PB, not to be confused with BP. That's a, that's a prefix they use for a lot of their files. I'm going to go down to PB main manager class. We're going to open that up. So it's going to dump us into this script. Uh, not the most in, um, I, I'm able to kind of navigate this somewhat decently because I spent so much time already hacking different things. I previously hacked the game to be able to just view the exact ending I want immediately. So I wouldn't have to play over and over. That's how I made an endings video because I just kind of, would hack in the ending I want and load it immediately. And um, so, yeah, so I've been making different mods, uh, modifications to the game to accomplish what I need. But, um, but yeah, now we're going to go to a specific point in this paintball uh, manager script. I'm going to go to this public m idle text. Here it is. There's only one instance of that in the whole script. So I'm down there. And now I'm going to go to line 1291 specifically. That would be this one right here. Um, sorry. So yeah, so the script is if game timer equals 10,000, then end the game. All right, so that tells us like when this thing detects that it, the game timer has reached 10,000, the game's over. And the problem apparently is that 10,000 is not enough time because again, it's ending after like six seconds. So um, I did some math and I figured out that, you know, if, if 10,000 equals six seconds, then if we put in 107,000, that should equal about 60 seconds. So that, that's more than generous to be able to get through this. Um, 
So there, there you go. So I modified the game. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna view the, we're gonna view it unmodified, so you can get a quick idea of what this thing's like when uh, it fails. So we're gonna launch the game real quick. We're just gonna go do whatever. Click, click, click. Um, fortunately, this game is a cheat to if you hold Control Shift and you left click, then you can. Uh, there's a shortcut key for the various events. So here's the mini. Here's the paintball game. You can see I'm just kind of scrolling. Was that even six seconds? Because I don't think it was. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> well, wow. frog throat. It's early in the morning. So there you go. So that's the that's the bad bug that I've been uh, contending with for many years. But now, um, after we modify this statement from so that if game timer equals 107,000 ticks or whatever that number means, then we're gonna relaunch the game after that modification. We're gonna, oh, we have to go back to the starting sequence. Lolo is our name, blah, 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 blah. Enable the cheat and let's go over to the paintball game. So now, um, it's just going to be immediately apparent that we have uh, a lot more time, right? Like, I can actually, like, play now. I can actually try to, like, you know, shoot the characters. And uh, I think you have to score, like, three points on one of them to win. And you only have 20 shots, too. So there's multiple limits. It's the time limit. It's the shot limit. Uh, I'm not listening, so I don't know if I win, if I won or failed. But in any case, there you go. So yeah, I went through the shortcut, and I already explained, like, yeah, basically 10,000 game ticks is not enough, so if you modified 107,000, it should be about 60 seconds. Uh, and that's that's kind of it. That was a, It's a real quick, if you're set up for it, it's a really quick mod, and it's a really quick way to just be able to play the game properly even with this specific mini game uh, fixed. And I don't, again, I don't know what happened at testing when they shipped this game, but that, to me, that's a pretty egregious... Uh, issue that the timer is just way too short on that and it's impossible to win it or play it properly uh, alternatively i will have another link in the description because what i've done is i went through this whole thing then i published the fixes into a, a file called pb main oh that should be pb pb main oh ugh. so there you go i'm getting mixed up myself i told myself earlier not to not to get mixed up uh, but yes, there should be a file called bp underscore main underscore pb fixed dot exe. Uh, and I'm going to link it. And if you take the files from this zip file, if you take these files, put them in your game directory, and you run pb underscore main underscore pb fixed dot exe, that will also work. And I've tested it myself. In fact, uh, I think I still have it set up. Uh, here we go. So you can see here I have a Windows 98 VM because um, if you're not running the game through Director, you have to have a whole... There's a, I've made more videos about this, but basically if, if you're going to run the game um, on all, without Macromedia Director installed, you have to have a Windows 98 VM to do it. So that's what I have here. You can see I already copied my two uh, P, BP main PB fixed files. And now when I run this executable, again, it's... Uh, all I did was copy it into the directory along with all the other game files, you know, from from a proper install. So all I did was run this new executable. And I will note, I'm running it without the CD. That's another big problem with this game is you need the CD to run it. But if you just copy this modified exe of mine into the game directory with the files, it'll just work. And again, it'll work much like I just showed you. Let's go through real quick. Our new name is going to be... Juhai. Oh yeah, that, that mouse cursor is a little buggy, but it's fine. So we're gonna go through. On, we're gonna re-enable that cheat. We're gonna press P to go to the paintball game. And let's test it one more time. And we're waiting for dudes. Waiting for dudes. But there you go. I mean, it's working. Let's just break some stuff instead. And yeah, if we. Use up all of our paintballs. 
should eventually run out. You are out there you ammo. go. Big, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, again, if you... So that's multiple ways to run this game. Oh, uh, yeah, but you can't, the only way to quit it, you should know, is to quit within the game. Bye -bye. Eventually, there it is. So yeah, so uh, yeah, it's bugged me for a long time. I guess this is more for me than anyone else. I was just really bothered by it, and now it's fixed. There's multiple ways you can fix it yourself. You can try to run the EXE that I'll link you to if you want to just kind of go straight into it. Hopefully it works for you. Uh, and that's all. Thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, see ya. You don't know me, but I know where you live, neighbor. Gotta watch out for Dale. My grandmother used to say he's like a manure salesman with a mouthful of samples. <laughs>